These views are not representative of Fandom.com. Also, viewer discretion is advised, because this podcast can get quite unrefined at times. I did it! <laughs> now recording. This is what you waited for. And of course, it's recorded that. Lemurs knows how to use technology. <laughs> oh, is that is okay? That, right? Is that how that works? That's interesting. All right. What was it? The, the, the rare, <laughs> the rare <laughs> characters that you get every single role. It's like, and then ultra rare, and extra rare, and it's like. And then the other ones are just like, oh, these are the normal characters that you barely get. Like I know. The two stars these... and the one stars. I call them trash that I just used to clear out room in my inventory so there's more character slots. Yeah, I just like use them to upgrade characters and shit I used to. So I'll need to have a look and see at it. But I did. Um, I think I downloaded it on the phone as on the thing. So I'll see. I was and it's been treating that. me so, so well. I actually got the Christmas mini, and I also got, like, one of the Nels and the Parasols, and I, like, almost cried the other day. <laughs> oh, I, do, you, do you all like those event ones? I hate the event ones. They annoy me. It's like, oh, well, I just want the real hey, character. <laughs> hey, you know who really likes the event Nels? <laughs> you? Uh, uh, well, yeah, that's obvious, but Kubo... And see, really? that's how I, uh, yeah, he said it in one of his club, like, AMA things. He's like, oh, yeah, the Nail of Souls art is, mm. And I'm like, see, this is why I like Kubo. See, Did he get thirsty over his own character? I think so. And you okay. know what? I don't blame him because actually some of the character art for Nell is actually, like, really, like, legit nice. And then you have the really early one. Let me see if I can find it. There we go. I found it. <laughs> oh, right. <laughs> oh, that yeah, that's chin. Look at Look at that chin. I know. That could, that could cut glass. <laughs> Not right. only could it cut glass, it could cut diamonds, and it could cut dimensions. It's just... Oh. It's wow. Oh, boy. Is that one of the... Is, have, have they fixed that, or...? That, that, that was, like, her first artwork, so they've made much better stuff since. One second. I, I can post... An example. Um, I this? think I have a nail. I'm pretty sure I have uh, on my more, kind. One more recent ones. As you can see, immediate improvement. Yeah, because the thing with like the early Brave Souls models is like some of the character art. It's like obvious that it's not Masashi Kudo, and it's just off by like just that much, and it's just like almost kind of like Uncanny Valley. I I'm not a fan of when they do that sort of stuff when they like make a certain I don't know it yeah they're like it's 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 Kubo has a certain style you know what I mean yeah and I'm like and I'm so glad oh that's right we're actually supposed to be talking about the anime that Masashi Kudo is back as the character designer so that I'm really thrilled for because he just understands how Kubo's designs work and it just that's the one thing with the anime. That's the guy you interviewed before, wasn't it? Yes, it is. And he's coming back to uh, do it because he hasn't been at Piero. I, I'm, I think I'm pronouncing it right. I took French, so if I do not, I, I'm just going to kick myself. I, I, I pronounce it Pierre because they don't deserve the proper pronunciation. What is the proper pronunciation? Probably Piero. Yeah, it's Piero the... after the clown because that's why they have a clown mascot for their I mean, studio what, and i mean and i mean what a fitting name for them <laughs> yeah. right. uh, look, look look you know early bleach was pretty spot on uh, down the line uh but you know what i don't blame any of these staff or animators for that i just think what happened was i mean puro's been around 
a long, it, it's long clear time. They cut the budget. It's clear they cut the budget. It's not as so much they cut the budget. I think they just had two shows at production at once, and it just there's just no way you're going to maintain any sense of quality. If you want to come yeah, early, that's Blake was fine. Yeah. I want to point you to the first arc that I watched. Oh yeah, that's rough. Several yeah, that... times, and also episode fifty three, which cut off almost all of Tosin's backstory for no reason. Oh yeah, well, yeah, look, I, I'm I, not gonna say the writing was great, but I will say compared to a lot of shows, like Bleach, animation wise, when it's like canon. We're not even gonna talk right. about the four hours. It was I don't understand. This is the thing that fucks me up about um am I allowed to swear? Yeah. I, it, it oh, annoys it's fine. It's fine. I'm like, me. do you think Susan from you is gonna go after us? No. Um well it, it just angers me so much the way sometimes it's like they add in the biggest load of bullshit and then they take shit away. And it's like why? There was story there. Why did you need to make bullshit? There. That's exactly what I, happened with, with the Tosin thing. They added in like padding and filler in that episode and then cut out his backstory when it would have just filled that time. Uh, and then when you get to the Arankar arc, then half the shit doesn't make any sense. <laughs> that too. <sighs> but you know what, Zill, contrary to everything from what I've seen so far, I yes, I know the trailer is pre animated. I feel very, very confident about this because we're getting a lot of the core staff back and we have a director who's done some really awesome shit as of late and he was also one of the original animators for Bleach, so definitely knows his stuff. Plus the fact that they announced it's not airing until fall 2022, that gives them like almost, if not over a year to animate it, which is why most of it's pre-animated because I'm like, if they're doing production now, like they're just starting i will be confident when i see the finished product i'm not holding my breath until then because i've been burned so much by the original anime uh still the cynic <laughs> appeal to the fluffiness uh, uh, yeah so we talk about my fluffiness in the back right there yeah, was, yeah did you not hear that i was like finn agrees with me see <clears throat> finn so, so, we are back. irish brothers we're bringing back a time art tradition. Uh, future, what do you think? <laughs> <laughs> oh, wait, are we actually doing this right now? <laughs> like, we're recording. Oh. <laughs> uh, I'm uh, I mean... <laughs> away. Sorry, I was trying to give you an out there, man. Give me a second to coagulate. Coagulate? Gather your thoughts. What the fuck words did I say today? Just, just go blood clot yourself. Yeah. I thought we were still. Sh I thought we were still just randomly talking. I didn't know you actually started. <laughs> you not hear Biakia's voice say, "We're recording now." Him just saying it all sultry, like, "Hey, now recording. This is happening now." Come <laughs> God. So my uh, Sorry. Sorry. Uh, that, did, did you not notice me swearing? Going, am I allowed to swear? I, I wasn't asking be. permission to swear. What? Look, if there's no chaos, then is it really a Bleach Wiki podcast? <laughs> I I don't know. I'm all of these. I am at a stage in life where I'm not very good if I don't have a plan. I'm gonna be honest. Okay, so here's the plan. We're going to talk about the Thousand Year Blood War trailer. Oh my god, it's been 84,676 years, and that is a number I totally made up. Oh my god, it's been a decade. It is finally happening. You mean, is the Bleach anime coming back? <laughs> finally! After 10 years of coming back in 2022 it's coming sorry it's coming back 2013 confirmed it's come back 2014 confirmed it's come back 2015 confirmed oh you know if ship was here he would talk about his friends the influencer <laughs> <laughs> we're, we're not gonna name any names we're not gonna mm -hmm. name any names no <laughs> no we're, we're not about that but what we are about is future what are your thoughts 
Oh, we're just coming back to this, huh? Oh, okay. Um, well, I mean, like the footage, it certainly looked pretty. I, I didn't, I mean, it's obvious it was going to because it was probably just made just for the show. Because, I mean, a lot of that footage was from like late, late in the arc. And unless they've been keeping this hidden for like a long time, I don't think they're that far along that they could be close to the end of it. But, like, the thing I'm kind of curious about is how many of the OG dub actors are going to come back? Like, I saw, like, I saw, like, I saw, um, I saw the Bosch. I saw he, like, posted a reaction to it. And I'm like, if that's not his voice coming out of Ichigo's mouth, then, like, what are we even doing here? Like, (laughs) oh, it's going to be him. Uh, Viz announced they already got the rights to all of it, so I'm going to assume that minus one very specific voice actor, most of the original cast should come I, I, back. I mean, yeah, and like, <laughs> like, like it, it wouldn't be as good without Derek Stephen Prince. I'm just gonna say that right now. Uh, oh no, as, you, yeah, as, yeah. You, yeah. I mean, he's perfect for it. We got, we got to do and, it. And and uh, sorry, Dan Warren has to do uh, Biakia. He he was actually like the one question mark I was having because, I mean, Lemurs. I think you mentioned like a long time ago that you had thought he had like retired until he showed up in like Fire Emblem Three Houses. So yeah, I I did too. So I have a feeling he might go back just because Biaki has a regular role in this arc, and that means he will get more money. <laughs> and and yeah. lest we, lest we forget, Liam O'Brien, Liam O'Brien. Come back. <laughs> well, I'm ho- I'm hoping. What I'm kind of hoping is that this ends up being a union dub because I know a lot of the actors have since gone like full union. So I'm hoping that it's a union dub, not just for like you know we can get most of the OG cast back, but also I'm like anime is hard and like. <laughs> You shouldn't be paid, you know, like sixty dollars to be screaming in a booth for like four hours, like ripping apart your vocal cords. This is like ridiculous yeah. nonsense. And, uh, I actually they don't do. know any other actors' names. Um, for... Well, well, obviously, Michael Lindsay tragically will not be back from the early series from Urahara. Right, but it, but whoever possibly. replaced him will, I assume. Uh, Doug, Doug Arnold. Doug, yeah, he was he was Gin, he was Gin, and since uh, yeah, they'll probably just bring him back for it. My and Michael Sinner Nicholas, did he voice anyone other than Neutra? Uh, Outside Nordic. of like some minor roles, I don't think so. Okay, I I I only know the name because Son said, oh, you know, uh, I I I voice chat with him every now and then, and I and I remember. Trying to get it's him on the years, podcast. Man. Jesus. I tried to uh, ask if we get him well, on the you know, podcast back in the day. Mike's actually busy, you know, directing Academy Award nominated dubs, like working on Bell and shit. I'm like, he ha- like, how dare? I, I'm like, I mean, good for him. I, I just, I also because his name is so distinctive compared to, I don't know, Doug Ramsey or whatever the hell was <laughs> <Zohara. laughs> Well, he does, he does Loopy, so he could be back for that. He does, oh, yeah. he, wait, he, he, he does Luffy from One Piece? He does Luffy, Luffy, we are, <laughs> yeah, Luffy, who's stoned in this conversation again? I'm not even stoned anymore. You know, um, Luffy, not Grimjow. <laughs> oh, fucking, that, that piece of shit. Okay, I should have known, I just did that fucking episode well, he... where it shows up. Never mind, okay, cool. Yeah, where he's like, he... Um, Loopy, yeah, he's well. He well, he gets comes back as a zombie, doesn't he? Oh yeah, he spoiler alert. Uh, yeah. Oh shit, sorry. Oh yeah, right. so Rise of the Wrong Car comes back. Sorry, I know this is going to ruin your entire experience of watching the Thousand Year Bloodborne anime. Oh, hold on, are we doing spoiler alert? Sorry for the manga. What? Am I so confused? What is happening? Am I not allowed to talk? Is this is this what happening? Okay, right, got you. Right, I'm not even talking about the fact. So, so the thing that we were talking about for years on end of podcasts, we're not allowed to talk about it anymore. Is that right? Am I not allowed? To, am I just spoiled it? Did I just it's behind it? the Disney vault? You know, we can never talk about it ever. <laughs> I'm so sorry. I didn't mean. Oh, fuck. Sorry. 
My bad. All right, Zill. Uh, what thoughts do you have? <laughs> well, to reiterate what I said uh, in the hour before we started this podcast. <laughs> um, <laughs> in the five hours, we were just bullsh BS. Yeah, yes. Five hours condensed into one. Um, Can I just I... say, hold on, we haven't even been here that, okay, okay, it's been two hours like, but Jesus, okay, but what? Oh, I, I've definitely been wanting Mammy to come back since the arc uh, ended. Um, but I was honestly hoping you would be under a different studio than Pierre, like UFO Table or uh, Bones or even Colorado now that I've seen what they can do with uh, Burn the Witch. Um, I think that the first and last shots of the trailer look good and that those probably it's probably what the actual anime will look like in the end, um, more or less. I think that the pre-animated stuff was super rough. Like, the fucking Shadow Kamura was really bad. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Really bad. And and the fact, like, I, I understand they want to build hype by showing these moments in advance. I don't think they're getting to them in this season, if they're going to do it, you know, in a couple seasons instead of all at once. Um, and, like, the the actual, what looks like actual anime stuff looks good. But um, all they've shown us literally is just like the hype moments from the manga, which is definitely going to be more or less unchanged. But like, there's more to that to the arc, more to the arc than that. And having in the interim period between the manga ending and this being announced, having or everything that's being shown. Thing, like manga and anime to compare them as of writing these summaries, I have seen in detail all the stupid ass changes that this fucking company has made to this uh, to the anime and, and how they Lord, just they, there's been a lot. <laughs> there there has been miles of lists I've had to I've written up about all the differences that m largely are needless. Like aside from um stuff being cut up and moved around for pacing. Like to tell more coherent narrative and like uh, reconciling differences in the manga, like when Kubo like ends a chapter one way and then starts it up a different way next time, that's fine. But like the censorship, the uh, random dialogue changes, additions and subtractions, uh, all the stupid shit like from the very first arc that basically ruined it, um, and how they treat Orihime for no fucking reason. I, oh my god. I, she has I, been done so, so, so dirty. Like, I never understood why people hated Orihime so much until, like, I read the manga and then it was the anime, and I was like, oh, okay. Yeah, yeah they, you know, <laughs> yeah, like, just... like in the manga, in the manga, she's an actual character, and then in the anime, it's just like, Kurosaki kun, Kurosaki kun, Kurosaki kun. It's like that's oh, why oh. I can't watch Bleach in Japanese because I'm like, please just put Stephanie Shea on. Like, no offense it, to Sayu, I just it's not her fault. It's honestly the way they have the script written out. It's just like I I can't. <laughs> the best way I can put it is the anime like surgically extracts all agency from her character, um, unless it's like like a, as plot relevant as possible. As like, as 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 little as it was to begin with because let's be real bleach isn't very good at the female i'm not gonna Sorry, I'm, I, no i'm not gonna claim it's like you know a feminist utopia of a, of a series but there's more way more in the manga oh. than there is in the anime like oh yeah the, definitely but yeah the, the, yeah, the, the basic the, the biggest example I, I can think of is from the very first arc when everyone's meeting up to go off to save rukia um the manga presents it as follows. Ichigo's running down the street toward the toward our horror shop. Orihime meets him midway and starts running with him and explains, you know, she had the same message, blah, blah, blah. And she's like, and, and when he asks her, like, are you sure you're about you're going to want to go to Soul Side? He's like, yeah, I am. He's like, all right, cool. He accepts it. End of discussion. And after that, like, the only real surprise is uh, fucking Urahara pushing a soul out of his body and everyone freaking out that he, he's technically dead now. Um, here's what happens in the anime. Ichigo gets to the shop alone. Chad's there. He freaks out over Chad being there. Uh, 
Uryu shows up. He freaks out over Uryu being there. Or he may shows up and asks everyone else to protect her, and then Ichigo freaks out more. Oh God, I oh, forgot <laughs> about that. Oh, do you, Jesus do you, do you see? Do you see the problem inherent in the system here? Right. I oh, mean, my Lord. let's just go down about like feminism in Bleach. I mean, just to kind of take a step back, mind you, most of this stuff was written, you know, close to like twenty years ago, and. This is around the same time that Stone Ocean was being serialized, so girl and manga, oh, she must be the love interest. And the fact that Orihime isn't that right away is kind of unique in that she's her own character. But, you know, we've had a lot better female protagonists in Jump since then. Yes. But I think the time that it was written, and even if not so much with Orihime, but with Rukia, like Kubo was definitely interested in writing different female characters instead of just the archetypes that have that had existed for decades at that point at the risk of sounding like the archetypical you know kind of because everyone knows that i am feminist into every inquiry in, in my being um that orihime positives that i like about her characterization She's obviously cast as a love interest that's pretty early on established. So that's not feminist in terms of that because she is already being defined by her relationship to the man. Okay, so it's not feminist in that way. However, how they chose to go about that, I enjoyed because she's she is jealous, yes, but she recognizes that her jealousy is part of herself. She doesn't, there is a trope of jealousy being portrayed as in a way of being a negative convict, uh, a negative kind of conniving little bitch sort of thing, you know, where, where women have to compete for each other, where she's just more like, I'm jealous, but I, do, I don't want Rukia to feel bad that I feel jealous of her relationship with him, do you know, in that way, and how she doesn't kind of, like, if other people, she's like, oh, do you fancy him too? Like, it's like a shared experience. It's not like in the way that, because that is, see, for me as being a girl, and going to an all-girls school all my life, uh, not all my life, all my minor years, um, girls more or less enjoy talking about guys they fancy together and shared and talk about it. And it's always like this trope of, oh, look, she's um, she's evil. and She's doing all, it's such a trope thing. Sorry, it is, you know, where girls have to constantly be dicks to each other. And, you know, the guy has absolutely no agency whatsoever. It's just all the girls and, you know, the other woman sort of stuff. I just, I like that aspect of where he may, she wasn't a wee bit of shit about that, if you know what I mean. Like she was jealous, but she was... Does that make sense? Am I explaining myself? No, no, I understand. Oh. Yeah, Orihime is written like an actual girl. <laughs> it actually reminds me of something I noticed as I was going through these first few arcs. Um, specifically, um, like after with at the end of the manga and the fucking explosion that happened in the shipping community over the pairings that <laughs> happened. Um, like there, there was this, this this constant like deluge of fucking Ichiruki shippers. Who tried to characterize like Orihime as like uh, Ruki is like you know truest enemy like they're like she fucking hates her and she, she stole her man and then and then you read the fucking manga and, then... and and multiple times especially in the earlier Ranka arc um like just after she's been shaved, saved Orihime is like I'm jealous of Rukia but she's my friend I love her so much I will go to the ends of the earth for her I don't want to feel this way. And Rukia feels the same way back, like like they're true friends with each other, and it's just like the fucking fans invent this toxicity between them, and it's insane. Like let them be fucking friends with complicated feelings. Jesus. Yeah, like it's that mindset of though that you have to be an evil shit if you're like there's such like there's such a like this shame involved with jealousy in trope wise like you have to like it's all right to go like you know sometimes like oh i'm jealous of how like maybe uh, lemurs can edit videos and stuff but i'm not going to sit there and be evil about it and go haha i'm going to make myself be better than her just so i can say i'm better than her and that that's the kind of thing that kind of gets involved in that and it's like oh yeah like they're literally projecting their own feelings about their own sense of jealousy onto two characters that are completely and utterly fine with each other they're like you know you've got you've got one going 
like her jealousy isn't about possibly Ichigo fancying Rukia. It's more that she wants to feel useful to Ichigo, and that's what her jealousy is about more. And she fa- and and it's like she's a powerful person, and I'm kind of like I'm jealous of that on on that side of things as well. You know of how like I wish I could be that for him, but she also doesn't force herself to be like Rukia. Do you know what I mean? Like she tries, and she's like, no, this is me. This is-. and like by the full brain arc, you have that kind of bit in her when she's like right I'm a defensive character and I know I am I'm a person that prefers to protect and I like that way the way her abilities evolved to that where she was like okay this is a shield but if you attack me it's going to hit you back because well it's she's, she's like you're attacking yourself in that way you know it's like this is a rebound sort of thing and I like that sort of thing that she doesn't she, she's not made to compromise do you know what I mean she's not made to be another rookie clone because Rookie is her own character. Does that make sense? Like, yeah. Then, also, yeah. Orihime in the full ring arc is like so incredibly underrated. Oh, and let's go back to like the shipping a sec. What about Reggie? Like, <laughs> like does his arc mean nothing? Even though it's like obvious. I remember. Now. I remember after the end of after the end of the series happened, and they tried to characterize him as being like a cock. <laughs> what how did i miss this one hold what? on hold on hold on i here's the i'll do you one better they still do they still do oh, Espe- right. especially oh, especially yeah. like, especially like even like even on the stuff. wiki they're always like editing it to make it like R- rukia's married to ichigo or just stuff like that I... just... Oh, do you know what it is? It's because it's because Ichigo can't give her babies because he's not dead. So Renji is. So like they live vicariously through each other. That this is the real goal, isn't it? It's because Ruki is dead and Ichigo's not. So, so he has to marry a human so he can breed. But they're really in love, and yeah. What what one must infer that if Ichigo and Ruki are, are actually married, then Ichika Abra is a prank. <laughs> <laughs> Like, damn, okay. <laughs> All right, I G. thought we were watching Bleach, not an episode of Dallas. <laughs> I, do you know what? I actually don't who even know if you watched that. Or rather, who, <laughs> who shot sh- Cone? I don't know. The joke worked that- better in my head. <laughs> <laughs> uh, who shot the sperm at Rukia? The dead um. one? Uh, it's I I don't know. I'd love to have like in depth conversations about this sort of stuff, like really proper, because it's so funny. Just like tropes and shit. It's weird. I'm like, you realize that these people aren't real, right? Like, I understand it's a thing that makes you happy, but you know, someone who's been there with the peak shipping wars of both Naruto and Bleach, I'm like, there is just so much ugly crap that i'm kind of glad that bleach re- at its peak didn't exist when twitter was there i mean it was, kind of was but it's nothing like how fandom culture is now just oh my god just imagining that cesspool it's like ooh, uh, no uh it's uh it's gonna be a thing it's uh yeah i mean i'm for one i'm enjoying the absence of certain <clears throat> types of fans um that are quiet on the scene i'm not going to complain uh speaking of zill do you want to do a little story time about how we got banned from the bleach reddit <laughs> okay so who's banned from the bleach reddit almost uh... bans. <laughs> okay oh yeah me oh is this me okay yeah carol oh no no it's me and zill because uh oh. I decided to cause oh. a little bit of, uh, let's just call it controversy. All right, All right. so to set the stage, this was like Ooh. a week or two after the fucking manga ended, and this, the subreddit was kind of fast losing uh, readers, I want to say. Um, it was kind of, it was, it was, it was dwindling in, in, uh, in popularity, because until fucking Burn the Wish came out, like, wasn't much to talk about. So, at the same time, um... There was this uh, service program thing online that would make you allow, you allow you to write text in the font of the Stranger Things logo from Netflix. Um, and so, uh, Lemurs, uh, let's see, 
what did you what did what did what did you write? Ichi I wrote something. I wrote suck it, Ichiruki. Yeah, uh, suck it, Ichiruki. Um, and you posted on the subreddit with like a title like uh, uh, news about the anime or something like that, some sort of bait. Um, and I think it, it got immediately deleted. And I, I, but after I commented on it, being like, you know, hell yeah, or something like that. And then one of the one of the mods was like, you know what? If if I if this video does any ever again, you're banned, both of you. And um, I should note that this was like two years before like all the targeted hate for the wiki popped in there, and nothing was done about it. So like priorities. <laughs> so yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I was like, cause like, look at me. I just did suck at Ichiruki because I was like enjoying the salty tears. Cause I was on the Reddit the day the chapter came out, and I think it was like the day before my birthday. It might have been my actual birthday, and I literally like laughed out loud, <laughs> crying of like just the complete meltdown happening because I, my I wife remember, did not uh... get with my husbando, and you know. I'm going to be mad forever because Bleach had pretty much like as uncontroversial as an ending as possible. I mean, it's not the most exciting ending, but I'm like, I how remember, could you get mad at that? I remember you uh, kind of spoiling me on what happened in advance because you're like, oh man, tomorrow the ship is going to be mad. I'm like, oh, I know what this means. <laughs> I know what this means. Okay. Oh, fuck. Yeah. It's like, even like when the manga was being done, we had to remove relationships. I don't. It's very hard to have, I think, relationship sections in articles because you're always going to be writing it from your perspective of it. Do you know what I mean? Of your, like, oh, this person says this word. So to me, they must have a really close relationship because you've been taught that that's what a really close relationship is. But you have no idea. This person could be pathological. They could be pretending to be nice. You don't know that. Nobody knows anything. You know what I mean? So you're always like limited by your own perceptions of it. So I, I think relationships are very hard to have in sections unless the actual person is saying their intent for that relationship. Does that make sense? Yeah. Am I talking shit out my ear? No, no, you're not talking shit. Um, but yeah. And it also, when you're doing something that's supposedly not supposed to be biased, it's kind of hard when you're writing relationships out like that. Even, like, how we write actual articles. Like, even if you feel a certain way about something, like, you can't really lean one way or the other. I mean, that's not what we are. And especially with other controversies we have, like the novels, I'm like, yeah, but as much as, you know, we may or may not want something to happen unless we have it, you know, where it's pretty much as black and white of a situation as possible. Like, you just can't let your feelings drive the kind of work that you do. I mean, it's okay to feel passionate, but I feel like a lot of times, and it's not just with Bleach, it's with other fandoms too, people take it way too seriously and just put their own personal stock into things. Instead of, you know, making something that's, you know, okay, we're just an information. We're trying to share our knowledge with the fan base so they can, you know, find more stuff or answer any pondering questions that they had. Yeah, we try to we try to make like no sweeping statements on our articles. We are always trying to just more narrate what's happening because that's all it is. It's not meant to be presented in a certain way. Um, we just present it as presented as much as possible but in a in a cohesive narrative as opposed to all over the place you know because you have to fig figure out what chapter was that time stamp in or whatever right is that what we're talking about they, well that is what we're talking about <laughs> yeah i just i think a lot of people they're like you know have a lot of misconceptions about what exactly we do that somehow we have Taito Kubo on speed dial saying, hey, Kubo sensei, what's going on? Yeah, what's this oh, no, 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 no. the anime coming back? Yeah, tell us. If we if we knew, if we knew, we would uh huh. Huh, no, dude. my bit. My, those are my favorite users. The guys that like joined up to demand why I personally canceled the anime, and it's like, I, uh, do you know what? Honestly, I was washing my hair, and I thought, 
I can't be arse making the anime anymore. Fuck off. I can cancel shit. I just write in the wiki. And it's... And just oh. so many people don't understand how hard or how long animation takes to do. And like that somehow, you know, even though, yeah, we are a big part of the fandom. I'm like, we don't really have a say in anything. I'm like, I wish we did because we would definitely do things different and not make stuff like the invading army arc <laughs> so but it just uh, it, uh, it's, it's just but and it's again it's not just bleach but fandoms it's just they're honestly very wild sometimes i think that we you the matter i'll stop talking because i'm gonna end up getting philosophical bullshit here <sighs> Da, 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 da. Did you um, just make a cat noise? What, what the hell is that? That I I make random noises with my mouth whenever I feel shy, so that is going to happen. <laughs> um, I like to roll my tongue. I like doing that funny noise. <laughs> like <laughs> what? I don't know. It's not a wookie noise. I wish it was a wookie noise because it will match because I'm a bit of a hurry bitch. So uh, I always call myself a wookie. I'm not good at imitating shit, so I just make noises. Freestyle. Hello? Freestyle. Yeah. Sorry, this, I just, my happens. brain had a fart. Well, what happens when we allow her to grow her own green? <laughs> yep. And she doesn't let us have any. Yeah. Hey, hey, hey. So what happens when Sun doesn't support local businesses? <laughs> <laughs> what about the Spencer Bob son? What is he gonna do? He has a wife and kids. I don't know. I don't know what he's gonna do. But hold on. I don't want to support the terrorists. <laughs> support the paramilitary. The, the, the terrorists. <laughs> You think they're, yeah. they're the ones selling yeah. weed? The yeah, over here, yeah. Well, yeah. yeah. What dealers do you have He's up so over there? He's so mask on. <laughs> nice guy, <laughs> everybody. Oh. oh, our areas are run by former... Uh... And in a world where we're not going to get political. <laughs> Woo-hoo. I, oh, yeah, yeah, you know, I, I, met, I met Tay Kaczynski once. He slipped me some doobies. <laughs> Kaczynski? Yes, Ted Kaczynski. Everyone's uh, the Unabomber. <laughs> oh, oh. Also, you know, me and David Koresh, we had a most doped out weed session one day. You can tell I, I don't smoke. <laughs> I'm, not, I'm not to brag. I'm not to brag, but I've had people I've had people say that I sound like Hannibal Lecter, so <laughs> Hello, ladies. <laughs> Hello, ladies. <laughs> it's the Will lotion on its skin. Or else it with gets those brownies. <laughs> um, <laughs> okay, okay. Elephant in the room that I have to address. I, I love that scene with Hannah Lecter. I can't hear the word Chianti <gasps> without thinking of fucking Cowboy Bebop now. Oh, are we, we're talking about the good cowboy bebop, not that one that we're not going to talk about. Not, right? not, not the one that never happened. <laughs> there is no live action cowboy bebop in Boston, say. You went there. I've seen it. Hey, pay no attention to the live to the live action Ed sitting over in that cruiser, <laughs> See, like, sitting in the alleyway. <laughs> I I feel legitimately bad for that actress because that was like when it. Like her first role is going to be like a reoccurring, like big role, and just oh, they did not do any favors for her. And I really do hope she gets work after that because that's obviously like a direction thing. But oh, that is mm, rough. Oofies, as they say, no good. Donata. Yeah. Um, <laughs> anyway, anyway, don't worry. We're just talking about. I'm so jealous of the Witcher fans. Like they have someone that actually cares about this show like the the mythos oh yeah uh fucking henry cavill was like yeah you know in this thing we should use this line from the book uh from like book three or whatever i think it would work really well here it's 227 
Yeah, like, Pete. Hey, all, all, all right. Okay. <laughs> Could I go okay. to line five? <laughs> all right. You're, 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 you're hot and you're a nerd. Fucking leaves him for the rest of us. Jesus. No, they're not. He's a gamer. Oh, no. he's oh, a, are he's you kidding me? Gamer. Are you, like, <laughs> I'm like, have you not seen him build a gaming PC? No, it is the I, hottest I, thing ever. I didn't fancy him right. until that moment. All, oh, all right. so he wants to run with biceps to a PC. Fun, Hello? Let, let, me, let, let me clarify here. I knew about that. I knew he was a World of Warcraft player. But there's like that's like the best there's, there's, porn there's, ever. There's, there's different spheres of nerd, and he's in like all of them. <laughs> and he's hot. Like what the <laughs> fuck? <laughs> yeah, oh, I, but he's what cat? Why don't you? <laughs> oh, all right, fine. Now, now I'm it's like we have it rough enough as it is, man. <laughs> On. <laughs> anyway, I, I think okay. we were talking about bleach. <laughs> 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 One of the things I kind of noticed, especially in like the last three or four years, is that a lot of the discourse on Bleach has changed. And I can't quite figure out why that is. Maybe it's because, you know, Bleach is now considered like a vintage anime and like enough time has passed between both the anime and the manga ending. But it's been like really weird. Like a lot of people, you know, who maybe are like, oh, uh, you know, I'm a Bleach fan, but, I, you know, I'm, it's not something I'm going to bring up. And then I'm seeing, at least on my end of social media, a lot of people, I would be like, never think in a million years we're Bleach fans. Or like, oh, yeah, I'm Bleach fans. And then um, did you guys see that picture that I retweeted about the Ichigo car in Burbank? <laughs> uh, yeah, yeah, I saw that. <laughs> so on, the, on the official <laughs> account or? On, on the, is it, it's on your personal account or the Bleach Wiki account? No, no, no. I put it on the Wiki account, but I talked about it on my personal account, too. So anyway, there's, I think it's a Charger. There's this Bleach-themed car that is in Burbank, and it occasionally makes an appearance. And it's like a nerd made this car, because on the front paint job, uh, there's kind of like the implication of mask, because it's like the inverted, like, black and white. Not mask, white. Jesus Christ, I can't even talk. But anyway, there's this random bleach car. It says like bleach. It has like tenses on Getsu on the roof of the car. And it's like the coolest nerd car ever. I want to know who is this glorious owner of this car? Who is right. that? I I'm trying to find it. I'm just seeing all the cursed like birthday artwork you've made. <laughs> Hold on. Let me see if I can find it. Here it is. I'm just going to uh, post this car because. I follow a lot of animation people on Twitter, and then this car was uh, coming up. So it first made an appearance in, like, August, and then it's kind of come up since then, because someone got excited to say, I saw the bleach car! Oh, I see. Uh, da -da -da. Ah, that's pretty sick, yeah. Oh, yes, the rims, right? I got you, right? I totally -L -D. pictured that differently, class. And is that fastoed? Fastoed? <laughs> <laughs> That's right. <laughs> fastoed oh, order. Oh, nice. He's got it on the rims, too. Oh. I know. <laughs> like, <laughs> like, this guy went hard. Yeah, no, that's, that's pretty good. Yeah. This, this has, like, Pokemon bed sheets vibed it. <laughs> Like, you know what's uh, really cool? Like, I have this money for this muscle car, but you know what would make it better? If I put anime on it. Yep. <laughs> Fucking awesome anime, too. I, I love the bloody plate. I'm obsessed with the plate. I like the way, like, I like that. Let me see what the rims look like. I'm, like, magnified. Uh, it it says, rims. uh... A class, actually, full on faster Lord A, actually, on the rims. Ah, oh, nice. Yeah, it's because... Uh, at least in this country, I think you're limited to like seven numbers or letters to a license plate. So I think that's the reason why. You know, no, no, it's it's fine because it's Fasto and then Lord Day. So it was like yeah. I, I like the way the D's there. So it kind of like almost. I know there's no like O and R, but you could kind of like Fasto Lord Day, like kind of like say fast. So yeah, class. It's California. It says there. Is that real? Is like a real plate, or is that, that, be, that be no? That's a real. No, it's a real car. The, the, definitely yeah. real. Plate's real. 
technically, yeah, yes. Hopefully it's real. Yeah, okay. but the thing well, for well, me yeah, that sorry. takes it over the edge is the Ichigo Kurosaki sticker on the top. <laughs> That's just what makes it mwah. <laughs> uh, son, I should clarify, in America you can get what's called a vanity license plate, or a vanity license plate, which is, um, is that to follow the usual scheme of, like, uh, numbers, letters, numbers, letters, randomized? You can just have it say, like, a, a phrase, or, like, an abbreviation like this, um, and I think it's, it, 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 it counts like oh. a official register for your car, uh, you just pay extra for ah. it. See, see, bear in mind, bear, bear this in mind. This is the way I um, I will show you is the way I'm kind of chilling because I'm chilling like a villain. Sorry, hold on. <clears throat> oh, yes. Sorry, are we just making random noises now? <laughs> yes, yes, yes. That's I, the we are. <laughs> Welcome back this to the random I... noises podcast. <laughs> All right, well, let me join then. Sandy Sana Squash. <laughs> 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 right, he's gonna start doing the minions. Right. So like I'm kinda I, I, I can't do a good minions, I'm sorry. <laughs> That's the only thing I remember. Yeah, I can't do that. minions, but I could do stitch. Oh, this is for that blitz with the blah 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 I can't even do it anymore. <laughs> So, like, I am currently, so see, anytime you just kind of send something into the group, I'm looking at it on the TV. So, give me a wee second, if you know what I mean. So, I'm just going to get, right. So, right, I see what you mean. So, he actually had the sword across his windscreen. Yep. Yeah. With Ichigo Kurosaki blazing on the top. I think he should have really just left that as a sword. That would have been nicer, rather than the actual Ichigo part. I think the reason he might have put it on is because of Tensuzan gets his hilt. I don't think any he wanted anyone thinking he was a Nazi and destroying his car. So that's why oh, I think it's probably yes. there. <laughs> yeah, that's that's right. Uh did the anime censor that? Can I remember? No, anime... uh, no. What I think they actually did for the most part for the actual hilt is that they moved it closer in so it's not as obvious, but I think in the Fulbring arc, they changed the shape of it a little bit, even though it's just the kanji for Bon. But unfortunately, because, you know, Nazis. <laughs> well, well, let's be real. He didn't help himself by making them related to the Nazis. Uh, you know, because the Fandenreich are the Nazis. <laughs> I, 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 I gotta say, um, I don't think people really picked up on Tenzangetsu's hilt as much as at one panel in the Fulbring arc where he actually is Fulbring the first time and a giant swastika pops out of his fucking badge. <laughs> That's it! You were literally thinking the same thing I was thinking, yeah. And it, it, it's like. Like like if, if that happened nowadays, there'd be memes ever or like, you know, I'm 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 going super saiyan racist. <laughs> <laughs> I'm super straight. I'm super Ichigo. Oh, Jesus. So, I, I, I as uh. I recall in the manga they changed it from a swastika to like um just four like instead of four uh like L shaped lines, it was four straight lines with like little, you know, circles on the end. Uh, yeah, Even I think they did something that. similar to what they did with uh, Neji in Naruto. Like, it, it's almost a, the exact same design. Because I believe, um, I believe Neji had a cross, like, didn't he? I believe in the manga, like it, it just tack, it tacked on more L shapes, so it wasn't a swastika anymore, but it was still like, uh, like probably uh, recognizable as Ichigo's. So, right, and I remember in some of the yeah. early Bleach video games. Because they didn't change, censor the art. They actually had like a, literally like a mini essay about what the manji is. Because <laughs> I guess Sega didn't want to pay to change like the random, you know, yeah, yeah. hot I, I art remember, that said I, Bankai. So I, I remember that too. Yeah, I, I, I saw. I've seen that. Um, I think in Slow Resurrection, they had something like that. Mainly because the, the the fucking box art is Ichigo in his bankai, so you gotta you gotta g explain that at some point. Right, because out of context, it's like, what the hell is this? Even though it's like, oh, it's you know part of the kanji for bankai. Japanese, not German. He was he's not a Quincy yet. It's okay. 
<laughs> is that a He's Quincy, not a Quincy yet? yet. <laughs> <laughs> is he a born again Quincy? I know, I know that it's gonna like be popular in the anime. They're gonna like everyone's gonna start asking questions like, "What the fuck?" Now that you know he's actually gonna be a Quincy, because like we're gonna like, I wonder, are we gonna have characters literally called the Shustafel? Are we actually gonna have this? Like, uh, this is what we're going into. We're going into mainstream here with this. The thing is, I can see that happening because it's it's not as uh widely known or derided okay you are so very as... underestimating no, 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 no. I, 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 well no i i would expect more censorship on fucking giselle than this shit staff will to be honest eh, um, maybe because like I, I i don't know i i like at the time i didn't know that's what fucking ss uh unabbreviated to um when when that came out i was like oh this is a cool word and i was like oh yeah, Everybody. like, it wasn't obvious enough who the bad guys were. You know, I'm just gonna put a little dot, and we're gonna connect it. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, like, more as much as on the nose as calling your evil bad guys the stormtroopers. They had to make them nice. They had to make them a bit of a balloon, didn't they? <laughs> they had to. It's like... <laughs> right, like, you can't call, you know watch super hitler so <laughs> super hitler <laughs> Dude, hold on. Did, you, did you just call him watch yes watch <laughs> because uh, i i refuse to call him that just just call him the, what, call what him is his name pronounced as what is it like literally him, did anyone just, know i think it's supposed to be yuha yuha bach Call him, I thought call it was supposed him. to be like Yahweh sort of shit. Yeah, just, just like just that's what simple, I thought too. To be simple, just call him the, the Tetragrammaton. Or just Swaggy call. YH. Yeah, no, his name is uh, based uh, off the of Tetragrammaton, which is supposed to be unpronounceable. It, in, in the actual Kana, it's Yuha Baha, which should probably come out to, which is why uh, the first scanlations were like Juha Bach. I call him your and walk. This is why I, I spent two years calling him Juju Man. Yeah. Ju- <laughs> oh, of course. <laughs> I, Thank I, you. I for- Here is live action why Son is an idiot because he just ends up giving up. <laughs> I just go yeah. Juju Man. Here Juju we go. Man. <laughs> the the icon. Yeah, because I don't think he's actually technically called Yahweh because of, you know, the obvious, like, religious implications about that because you know overseas you know bringing up religion that's you know no no i i don't think he is only because it's not how the kana is pronounced you can if if if, uh kuba were going for that it would the actual kana would have been like yahweh with like different uh diacratics and stuff this I don't. Literally... I don't think it. I don't think he's meant to be called Yahweh, but I think it's meant yeah. to be. It, 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 it looks similar to in terms of the like. Yeah, it, it, it is based off. Cryptology. It is based off the same set of. Because uh, the idea is the Tetragrammaton is the true name of God, and it can't be pronounced. So Yahweh is one way of saying that. This is another, essentially. So it's kind of like from the same source, if I recall the explanation people gave, of that uh, oh, page. Okay. Yeah, something like that. Uh, so yeah, may- maybe we'll we'll probably have the anime pissing off Christians as much as our podcast does. <laughs> oh, it's uh, it's uh, yeah. Hey, uh, do you know what? The- these last two years, man, I am losing my patience with people. If I hadn't already, two 2000- thousand. I thought two thousand and sixteen was rock bottom. Mm. Fuck! No, Jesus that's Christ. a ground floor. <laughs> we were my sweet summer child. That was that moment. That was oh my sweet summer child. For fuck's sake, Jesus Christ! Uh, we've we've Everything been went... we've been free we've been free falling into a basement since then. It's yeah, a basement would sound nice at this point. <laughs> but yeah, because then remember... there'd be a bottom. 
but on the discussion of like people like Steele and stuff, uh, I always remember I used to watch a lot of panels with Michael and stuff and then talk about like a lot of shit with him. And he would say that he understood, you know, because like a lot of people would kind of excuse bootlegging it and saying, you know, oh, but it takes ages to get out over in America compared to Japan. And that's a valid criticism. Yeah. So he went, he busted his balls to basically, you know, get a simultaneous release for dub and sub. And uh, they're talking about, now, this is, now, he's one of the people that, you know, basically has to put his own money up front because he owns the company, you know, the recording stuff and all that. And he'd be in these panels and he'd be talking to people and people were like, oh, I really loved that thing. And it's like, oh, oh, did you buy it? And it's like, no, I watched it illegally online. And it's. You don't say that to someone. No, hey, oh my god! What the hell? <laughs> but it's the brazen pride of it. Like I love your art that I stole. <laughs> okay. Mm-hmm. I mean, uh, look, you know. And there's my opinion real. on crypto, folks. Did I say that? Oh yeah. no! You said oh, an oh, opinion. What, oh dear. What if, what if we piss off the fuckos who deserve to be pissed off? <laughs> All right, here's here's my controversial opinion of the day. NFTs suck. That's <gasps> gasp. NFTs uh, just, uh, they're they're just okay. another way of here. We have taught you the desire and trained you to desire to feel special. And this is not it is literally we have gotten to the point the, the, of the best, we are, we are you want it that I steps. The, the best the best view of it that I've seen so far was like a Twitter take a couple of days ago where someone said that they met a woman who collected Beanie Babies in the 90s. And like <laughs> after the crash, they talked and the lady was like, I was going to retire on this thing. And that's how <laughs> we view <laughs> NFTs now. It, it is exactly except, like Beanie Babies. I except, remember the Beanie except, except, or, the, or, the, or the comic book crash as well. Oh god, yeah. Because I, I don't think the industry Ooh. ever you at least have a physical thing afterward to enjoy. You don't have yeah, fucking it's, NFTs. It, it's you don't have it. It's digital. Yeah, and, and, that, and, that's and, the and, thing. and it looks like shit <clears throat> too. <laughs> it's like, oh, here I have this like, unique. And it's like if any if any one thing proved to me how ridiculous this is was a couple of days ago with those Stan Lee NFTs from like his official oh, account. Oh my god. It's like piss off with that. And like later that same day we got later that same day we got like the Bob Ross Funko <laughs> NFT. It's like just just piss off with that. Come on. Like Do you know I haven't been exposed to a lot of it, so maybe I should quit because I have heard of it. Oh you're so I'm, lucky. I'm no. Do you know I think I'm I have stopped following companies. I I just it, I don't know. I've stopped. Like it's like oh yeah, I used to like you know like follow Nintendo, follow all the announcements and stuff. And I, sorry, future, I just end up saying Nintendo because you like Nintendo and then <laughs> and you were the last voice I heard. Um, but I've stopped like following all that sort of marketing bullshit. I don't like it anymore. It's so manipulative and it feels so manipulative. Even if it's something I like, it feels manipulative, you know? It's like, just let me enjoy it as intended. It, Fuck off. No, no, no. It's, it's, I understand completely. Like, I don't, I'm probably in the minority here, but I don't like this trend now of like all the like brands on Twitter are just being like really meme and like being like super casual and stuff. It's just it just comes off as so artificial and like it, fake. It was it was okay. <laughs> it was just it was just Wendy's and Sonic, and now it's everyone, and it and they don't. Have yeah, the same it used charm. to just yeah like the only like major like food brand or something that ever did it was like Wendy's and anime. But now like every single company is doing it, and it's just so like fake and like ugh. It's when does something stop being a cope and stop being fun when you repackage it and sell it back to us at an inflated rate? It becomes fucking tainted. It's like, fuck off, sort of thing. Because, like, I mean, it's I don't even understand this. Like, I, I'm not this. It's the NFTs are for those people that obsess over having mint shit, that obsess over I need to be special in some fucking way. And it, it's just literally, it, what, what are they buying? What is an NFT? Can someone just 
please sit here and describe what an NFT is to me. What does NFT mean, first of all? all right, so what I think an NFT is, it's a non-fungible token, which basically translated means is that you get a digital receipt that says you own something, but you don't actually own something. Basically, it's a fancy hyperlink. That's literally all it is. Wait a I saw second, somebody it? explain it as I saw somebody explain it as this. Like, say you walk into a museum and you decide, hey, today I'm gonna purchase the Mona Lisa. So you pay like the exorbitant amount of money, but you don't get the Mona Lisa. The Mona Lisa stays where it is. You just get like a receipt that oh says you God, own the like Mona those Lisa. Companies that buy like, stars. <laughs> <laughs> name a star and it's like because at the end of the day who fucking owns the star to say it's not called that so they can do that so they can go like but who owns the star it's not ours so i can call it what i want and it's like who's to say my name isn't the right one why is your name the right one oh fuck jesus and it's, sorry and it's like carry if, on <clears throat> and it's like with the nfts you can't even like put them on the wall or enjoy them like at least with like beanie babies you would have a plushie to enjoy with nfts they're just on your like computer or your phone or something and like but you, know what you can't it is, even really you enjoy it. them not that you would want to because 99 percent of them are fucking ugly <laughs> it's like who wants to pay twenty thousand dollars for this ugly monkey smoking a blunt like <laughs> like like these crypto bros want to convince me that this fucking ugly ass lion sorry that i'm swearing so much but That's they're trying okay. to convince me that this ugly ass lion is gonna have like it's gonna be like a proper currency like for, how why who does this appeal to like i don't get it and like the worst thing about like the nfts and like the crypto stuff in general is that so much of it is just being shoved in our faces now like we can't avoid it like the organization football club that i follow like their kit the kit sponsor is a freaking crypto thing it's like ugh. And like the worst thing I've seen, the absolute worst thing was Staples Center. Oh my God. They're calling it crypto.com center now. Like, fuck off. But, 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 but Matt Damon said it was good. So, you know. <laughs> oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. And that, oh, yeah. And that freaking like movie theater advertisement that has absolutely nothing to do with crypto where he's like showing oh like 16th century explorers and like all this other historical stuff and then it just ends yeah. and it just says crypto it's like when, <laughs> when i was seeing spider-man my friend he he decided to call it crypto i Columbus. haven't seen it yet don't i, I know By the way. no before before that um when we saw that ad together he he coined it crypto for columbus yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's, it's literally what they did though they came back and this place was so far away they just sold all the concepts to people like oh yeah look you have all this land and all this shit and uh and oh fuck it it's just oh bollocks it's i don't know it's it's do you know what it is as well what makes it hard is that you've got wee fuckers like me and future running around who love to buy the plushies who love to buy all the shit and fill all, fill all our homes with like all this bullshit like that bullshit it's amazing i love it i love the shit <laughs> but it's a cope but you do end up you cling to all this their stuff and so like then they end up going freaking wish i had room for this and it's like oh do you know what would be better if it didn't exist and it's like that's literally what it is it's like ah, oh, i have all this stuff it's not actually there at all it's we have come into a thing where we go, oh, do you know what? This this thing, like, it's not actually a bed because it's 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 an object that I've called it a bed so that I have a benchmarker for it. It's a, it's not actually a bed. It's something else. It's it's a comma. It's it's not what it is in Spanish, comma. Um, so it's like you know, uh, it just it, we're selling concepts. Why? I don't understand. It's like a receipt just to go over oh, here at this moment in time. You were there. It's like these people going. I used to. I went to Woodstock. So. I mean, I'm actually, I'm actually driven by Woodstock. It's not really that impressive. It's, it's a farm. I'm like, and I come from like areas where there's farms. So I'm like, cool, another farm. Sweet. But, but that's the thing, though. It's people do this whole thing. Like, I was there, thus I, uh, I was at Woodstock. Thus, I must be the best of rockest fans because I am. I don't know. Welcome it just to seems the to be this only... crypto podcast. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. Oh no! I have to keep this in because someone has to say something. 
Can you tell them yes? Yes, he's for bleach. No, I, 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 I'm not officially. No, and I hope to God there there isn't because I would be like, fuck. <laughs> I don't. I don't want to see a picture. I don't want to see a picture of Ichigo sitting on a rock smoking a blunt and then have like a fifty thousand dollar price tag. Like I some of the blunts that I've seen dollar. already is expensive. Sorry. So I mean, Brave like, Souls is kind of like that. I mean, because you're essentially collecting like digital like trading cards and like models, right. but you get but, the but, gameplay out of it, and you can at least yeah. screenshot that like and not kill around, play it. Yeah, and and and, and Brave Souls is a gotcha. Like everyone can get the same thing. And it doesn't cost you hundreds of thousands of dollars. And it looks and fucking it's, quite it's, ugly. It is pay to win, though. Like, it can still, it's, it's, uh, Brave Souls is that game that it is pay to win, but you get enough free stuff to still be enjoyable. Okay, yeah. yeah. Like, I probably paid like, for still, stuff in it, like, still, twice. Yeah. It's, like, it's still interactive enough that you still feel part of it like do you ever see the way you got those other gotcha games that it's like oh you're basically just paying to click a button and then have the character then the character just like goes and does the whole shit it's still interactive enough to be enjoyable does that make sense like yeah yeah and and it's still and it's pretty it's designed really well and it doesn't like go oh here well i was gonna say here's a hyper sexualized version of that character but no they do have those i'm sorry i lied um but um they don't have it like it's still pretty tame. Like, it's like, you know, maybe like PG, PG-13 at worst. I'm like, there's a lot worse stuff out there. Oh, yeah. Like, it's, you know, like, boobs and butts. I'm like, cool. But I'm like, it's nothing is like, you know, like, oh, woo, a wet t-shirt. Oh, and you know, ooh, look, I can maybe see a nipple. <laughs> I, I hate the term. I hate I hate what it's called because it pisses me off that it's called this. Because I am also a fan and do not want to put my dick into her tits. But fan service, it's basically that's what it is. Isn't it? It's like it's not what they call it when they just they. It is gratuitous, but it's 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 not. Uh, sorry, it's not. Mm, I, mean, I need in, to stop in, talking. In in recent years, fan service as a term has shifted from just tits and ass to like general kind of pandering. For fans, like Endgame is a pretty fan service heavy movie. <gasps> Fuck, but I loved it. I'm sorry. I loved no, it. No, no, see no, no, that no, bit no. when all the guys I, got I, together. I, I was like, see for my little 13 year old three in the first scene in the X Men movie. Sorry. I Carol. was going to say, it doesn't make it bad. It's just kind of how you can describe it. Um, and the, so the, there's sexual fan service and also just general, like, more literal fan service, like, uh, pandering to the audience and stuff and it can make for good stuff but that that that's more recent back in the day it really was just like tits and ass yeah because none of the you know the manga like doesn't really get like that weird and uh i was talking about it in like the mod uh server yesterday and i'm not gonna say the exact story because it's mm, not great but the thing with bleach is is that you know the characters that are sexy Usually, like, they're clearly like, okay, this is an adult character. And, like, the whole joke with the Arankar arc, you know, with Rangiko is like, oh, look at me, a teenage girl with my size G36 bomber breasts. Like, I am a convincing schoolgirl. And then you even have, like, characters like Nell. Like, when she's in her child form, she is a kid. Like, not sexualized, that is a kid. And that even when she gets into her adult form, like, she acts like an adult. Like, this is an adult character. Not like, oh, I look five, but I'm secretly a 2,000-year-old vampire. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> what? <laughs> uh, who was that? Sorry, who did that? Why did you do that? I'm sorry. I was... Okay, I was agreeing with how stupid the trope she just mentioned was the 500,000 vampire oh it's okay now i can sexualize children thing because that's <laughs> that's still a problem even today they they haven't learned their fucking lesson who's that a reference to uh it, it's sort of a general anime thing and i've seen it recently as and, and please don't get mad at me future i've seen the i've seen it in xenoblade 2 which is a pretty recent release, um, and 
I don't think it's quite out of the. Uh, it, it, I don't think it's quite a dead horse yet, as far as usage goes, because some people just want to justify uh, th- that kind of uh, attraction. So they're like, "Oh, actually." And what was that? What was that? Um, like a child-looking character who's actually like you know a million years old. Even oh, like like like, like the me of his character sort of thing from uh like the oh. Yeah, this person's actually older, so it's okay to fancy them. Exactly, that, that kind of thing. Yeah. And, and it, who, it, what it, series it, were you mentioning there? Whenever you said future, is, is, is me or future? <laughs> That's yeah, no. You, 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 said, you were apologizing <laughs> the future. Oh, I was no, asking I know, what I series understand. you were. Look, I, I didn't I, say future did anything. I just yes, said you were apologizing did. the future. You did I look? He's Cuban. I'm not Cuban. Get tell the difference. Jesus Christ. <laughs> Wait, what, what, what is that what doing there? anything? Can you not just not apologize to Future and say you're going to shout at me, Future, for saying this? I thought yeah. you said that. No, I, no. Sorry. I, I mentioned Future because the example I was giving of that trope still being used in modern work was Xenoblade Chronicles 2, which is one of his favorite games. Um, for a few of the uh, side characters that you can gain access to as part members, um, which is kind of uncomfortable to see in a modern AAA release, but like that's, I don't want to get into a huge thing. I was just saying that's an example of how it's still not quite, uh, like out of uh, out of favor yet as a trope. Um, it's still. Well, I remember uh, Jump got in trouble a couple of years ago. Uh, they had um, a very uncomfortable illustration of a child character and you could see through to her shirt when you like turn the page because uh the paper that they print weekly jump on is crap <laughs> yeah i i i've i bought a couple issues um i bought the issue that had burn the witch the one shot in it back in the day and like that paper is insanely thin you you can see through the other side like everything on the other side um when you turn when you hold the page like it's not thick like book paper it's, right, and that's why Shonen Jump uh, only costs like two dollars. <laughs> yeah, exactly. It, ugh. It, it's not, it's not the same. It is nowhere near as good as like vol as volume slash tank of on paper. Like it, it's it, it it's almost transparent, like like plastic. But I, I I that that controversy sounds vaguely familiar. Who was that? Uh, I I, uh, I, I don't remember the exact. Serious it was. I know it just raised a lot of eyebrows, and I think they ended up uh, pulling that issue, or they had it like redrawn. But I definitely kind of raised a lot of questions about what was appropriate for Shonen Jump, because I mean, it was it was porn. Like that. That's what it was. It, it was porn. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> His attitudes in Japan are different. Oh, uh, where you can buy underwear in a vending machine? Used that... underwear, sorry, sorry, used underwear in a vending machine. Yeah, that and also, like, the the, the very specific precincts with extremely low age of consent. Ages of consent, rather. Ages. Yeah. I, I feel like we've talked about this before in the, in the old days, but... Yeah, the they're. <laughs> yeah, yeah. When when Back when, when I everything was, was made of wood. Yeah, when I when I was young and and son was thirty five. Um, <laughs> yeah, I, age pretty, thick, yeah. I was born without a face. <laughs> when we touched on our wooden computers using uh, <laughs> <laughs> turning them on with cranks. <laughs> very very oh, long Jesus. and strings uh through can uh yeah and to hold the had to hold the wires together with paper clips <laughs> yes it was it, it, yeah you know the good old days of 2014 i'm it, I'm, I'm glad we progressed technologically in that time oh yeah speaking of technological progresses i'm going to just side track a bit i found something <laughs> I Back think in the desert. Side tracking, great. Uh, you know what, Lemur? <laughs> I'll say this. I, 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 I will podcast this with side tracking, so. I, I will, I will this is going to piss you guys off so much. Check I, it. I, I will be legitimately surprised if this actually has anything to do with technological advancement. I, oh, that yeah, now. It is. It is. It is a great advancement for humanity. 
<laughs> oh shit! Oh. <laughs> No rights or privileges. Uh, oh, and there are community of Olive Garden fans. <laughs> Why is there a community of Olive Garden fans? <laughs> God, people in their coves, man. Ah! This is all. Do you know this starts? This, this starts are, when you're screaming it, at the it, chat. It says, wait, 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 wait. It says are they're not even affiliated with Olive Garden? No, what? they aren't. <laughs> And you don't own anything by buying it. Uh, they don't even own those Olive Garden pictures. Yep, token Garden artwork is them. for representation only and confers no ownership. You're not purchasing art, you're purchasing ownership of a non-fungible Olive Garden <laughs> franchise. <laughs> How does that work? I don't understand what you're talking about. <laughs> So is it just what so you're just fine or so so so, so right, hold on hold on I need, I need to look into on. this no no this? no okay, hold on right right when you buy okay, something this. right when you buy how something you get you a make an entire restaurant into an NFT how the fuck does that actually work when, when the when the restaurant doesn't even know about it like what the well, right sure see, when you buy something now. when you buy something you get a receipt. Is this just cutting out the middleman? Are you just buying a receipt? Yeah, basically, because this is a, this is this just the, it's the newest scam and grift. That's what it is in the end. So, so basically, so basically, you're buying the right to say you own an Olive Garden when in actuality you don't even own the Olive Garden. Uh, I, I I don't know what to, I don't know what to say to this. Like like the entire concept is so confusing and so stupid. It's not even of, of an Olive Garden. It's of a picture of an Olive Garden that they probably, you know, ripped off of Google Images. And they don't even own that. Not and they're even saying explicitly, no, you're not buying a picture of an art of, of an art of, uh, of an Olive Garden. Like I don't I don't know what to say to this. Like, I just don't know what to say to this. Like not only are they stealing artwork and selling it as NFTs, now they're just taking pictures. Now they're just taking pictures of restaurants and selling them. Oh my god. Oh my yeah. god. This, 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 is supposed to be, this is supposed to be the future of currency. This is supposed to be... We're supposed to buy stuff with this shit, in theory. But... Uh, I, I gotta oh say, of, of all the possible, like... Um, business chains that's gonna happen to first, of course, Olive Garden, and not McDonald's or like. Uh, what is Jack Olive Garden? Is it like a uh, restaurant? Is it like Cheesecake uh, Factory? Yeah. Yes, it is. It is a restaurant chain. Speaking of which, I'm surprised it wasn't Cheesecake Factory first because those Cheesecake Factory stands. Holy shit! I mean, I've been to Cheesecake Factory a couple times. It's like fine. Like their flatbreads are good, but I'm like. Some people yeah, are like, like, I like their breads and their pizzas are like okay, but like it's not something to get so extremely oh, like. Wait, wait, uh, the cheesecake factory isn't like cheesecakes. It's not an actual. No, it, 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 it is not a factory of cheesecakes. No, it is. Right, it I got, is I got, right, 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 right. I understood that bit from the fact that it's a restaurant. I just thought it was a restaurant like KFC. You don't sell ha hamburgers. You know what I mean? No, no it, it's a variety of restaurant. They have all different kinds of food, um, but cheesecakes is like their main draw i guess it's like oh every and just i i don't like cheesecakes so i don't get it when i go there but yeah uh i haven't been in olive garden fucking forever either yeah me neither it's been a hot minute for me but i remember one time i went to olive garden i had no power it was during an ice storm and i just decided to go fuck it and i wore a mickey mouse onesie <laughs> now this is like 10 a.m it's like nine degrees outside and then i see this dad with like a family of four mind you it's literally like 11 a.m and there's like two full bottles of wine at the table the, the last time i saw i even thought about olive garden was when the sonic movie had ad fucking ad promo for it uh, at the very end you know remember remember they, they got like a gift card to olive garden at the very end of the <laughs> sonic movie <laughs> <laughs> that was all I knew about it going in was that there is there is product placement for for Olive Garden and Zillow. And then so so it's basically like the, so it's basically like how the um, 
how the Power Rangers movie was basically an advertisement for Krispy Kreme donuts. <laughs> <laughs> I just laugh at that. I mean, it's so egregious, but it's like so on the nose. Like they know it. Honestly, Power Rangers 2017 gets way too much hate because that movie's fucking hilarious and fun. <laughs> and a lot of other shit. And I like that they actually gave it I, 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 I like the people like get all high and mighty, like, oh, this isn't my childhood. It's like, do you but also, it's the original Power Rangers. Rangers. I'm sorry. <laughs> I, I grew up with this. I was literally the, di- I was the child that that was made for. That was me. Did you remember it? It's a bunch of men in suits. Jumping around, going, rah, 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 rah. it's what? <laughs> I am reminded of this anecdote from a streamer I watched. Um, he was like, talking about how his nephews uh, were like, he's were hanging out and he's watching Power Rangers. Um, just like, like I think it was like one of the first few series, not like, um, or no, no, no. It was like, it was like the most recent one, like where they're all in space and there's dinosaurs and shit. Uh, and, and people in his chat. Or like be, getting like mad, like why don't you show them like the old stuff or like better shows? And he's like, they're two years old. They they just want to watch Power Rangers, <laughs> and, and 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 so it's probably to do a joke where like, man, John, why don't you have them watch fucking Breaking Bad? You know, you, you know, you get close to quality early. <laughs> I'm not joking. My the millennials of my age have turned into the people like my dad's age who still complain about Scrappy Doo. It's like fuck up. Just fuck up. It's not for you. You are 60. Go to bed. Like, what the fuck? It's, you know, Scrappy Doo isn't as good as the original. I don't give a shit. Nobody cares. The kids like him. Go away. It's, it's like... Yeah, uh, you're not it's down with the puppy power. Yeah, it's... Uh, it's it's Like, I mean, I'm not going to sit there and go pretend that he's like this fantastic piece of art, but it's, it's, it's a kid's thing. It's just, right. get over yourself. And, and the other <laughs> thing about Scrappy Doo is that Scrappy Doo saved... Scooby Doo from like falling into obscurity and gave that show like thirty years of violence. Yeah, basically, but people get. And then the happened. first live action movie happened. Oh god! <laughs> uh... don't, don't you just love that footage of Scrappy Doo beating on Daphne? Isn't that something that you wanted in your life? <laughs> well, well, here's the thing with the live action Scooby Doo movie, at least the first one. Originally, it was going to be like a satirical one, like clearly, you know, characters like Mary Jane, like, you know, I imagine the initial drafts, it was supposed to be something closer to what James Gunn did with the Suicide Squad. Be like, hey, hey, this is for all you people who are now in your 30s who grew up with Scooby-Doo, ha ha ha. But what had happened was uh, there was also a live action Josie and the Pussycats movie that bombed. So then Warner Brothers and their Infinite Wins them, started the panic and they said you know what we're gonna make this into a kids movie but we're gonna edit it so badly and it's just gonna be awkward and weird that sounds you right know, for what it is it wasn't that bad do you know what i mean it's i mean it's scooby fucking do it's you know every week it's who could it be oh he's got a mask on and it's someone fucking random and it's oh yeah it's it's Scooby Doo. I don't understand why people get all like it's like this big artwork. There are things that art always reflects the time period. It always does, and you will never make it go back. It never does. You will be okay. It's like I am an awkward piece of shit. I do apologize. I haven't socialized in like two years, so sorry. What is socializing? I don't know her. I don't know her. People, she went people to frighten school. me. Uh. I uh, since we talked about it before Sil left and then we weren't recording before Sil left the first time, uh I was just gonna say that well it's clear from I don't think that's gonna re- I hope it doesn't represent it, right? We're hoping that that's the kind of idea behind it. We're hoping that Ichigo doesn't suddenly have a purple bankai, right? I mean I, I would love a purple bankai, but again oh, okay. it's gonna you know, they have a year to work on this. I mean, I wouldn't be surprised if uh, Masashi Kudo actually animated, like, some of that stuff, because a lot of it looks familiar. I mean, I can maybe ask him later about it. But I think the important thing is, is that Bleach, you know, is in a lot better place than it was when it left. And I feel like, you know, a lot of the more toxic discourse has kind of dissipated, and it's more kind of nostalgia 
base. So I'm kind of hoping that this time, you know, we can have more fun. I mean, yeah, there's going to be hiccups with everything. But I think Bleach honestly couldn't have come back at a better time. Um, See, with the discourse around Bleach, as someone who is a long time person, um, a lot of it at the time, I remember that it used to get a bad rap see especially around the end of the arankar arc which in the mind in the manga in the anime we would call the the fake arc Kuratown arc but at the end of the arankar arc in the anime in the manga sorry uh it's there was a lot of shit about people whinging that oh he hasn't the balls to kill characters he hasn't the balls to kill characters and i think that got him a wee bit maybe it kind of reflected like as soon as we opened up into the next arc we kind of he shot out a lot of deaths i think but i don't think that i think he also realized that that didn't make good storytelling just for the arse of it if you know what i mean i in my opinion on it um and uh so i think that the distance away from bleach has kind of helped a wee bit maybe because there was a lot of competitiveness around with Naruto and shit at the time. And, well, Naruto, for whatever reason, was the more popular of the two of them. So that won out by default. But we are starting to learn, or or as, as time always shows, that popular doesn't always necessarily mean better. Uh, mm-hmm. At least artistically, anyway. <laughs> That's just Call of Duty. Think, uh, uh, sorry? It's just Call of Duty. <laughs> well, it's, well, it's, it's an... that's, that's my go-to example. Call of Duty? Yeah, as a video game franchise, incredibly popular. Total shit. I know what it is. I know what oh. it is. I, I just, I was clarifying if that's what you said. <laughs> yes, Call I mean, of Duty. COD. Yeah, I mean, we'll look at it. Like, how, how many people, like... It, 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 they find a niche and then they sell it back to you and they don't innovate and it's just like find whatever sells and just do it and with Naruto so I I do still like aspects of Naruto I'm not going to lie but yeah fuck man I don't know what the hell happened there Um, but I think with Bleach that that way that I think that affected the sort of storytelling in that final arc, if you know what I mean. I I hope that we get a lot of elaboration and I just hope if Ichigo has a purple bankai that we have a reason for him to have a purple bankai. What was that? The gecko? Was it did we say a tensho? No, gecko? no, that was that was a ge- that was a gecko tensho. I, I know why it's it's purple. And here, this is how they're gonna do it if they go this route. So it's the red from Tenso Zangetsu and the blue from his Quincy powers. And if we know our colors, what do red and blue make? Oh, Purple. God. <laughs> yeah, the, 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 the thing is, this is from the same anime that gave Ichigo blue Rayatsu when he's had golden through the manga. I kind of feel like this time around, since I think really other than Boruto... And since Black Clover recently ended, Bleach is the only other big show that they have going on. So what I'm kind of hoping is that we get something similar on the quality of the Soul Society arc where everything's like more consistent. Hopefully not as much of it is outsourced, even though, you know, outsourced animation does have its benefits. And I think all those artists are incredibly talented. However, you do get consistency issues from time to time because you have you know, how someone interprets the model sheet different. Yeah, uh, saying that, do, do you, like, there's, I like that there was, um on the anime side, the, the anime only arc, like, I like the concept of that, because obviously they have to tell shitty stories whenever, well, well, they, sorry, <laughs> by default they end up being <laughs> shitty. Um, they're not they're intended to tell a shitty story. They're not, they're hoping that it sells money. Um, but, uh, the menace arc, what do you call him? The wee guy, the Patros, his rebellion. I thought oh, that word, like concept of that started out really well, but everyone had such benign, really pathetic, really draw like they were really designed really crappily. The characters, like it's like really, you went with another guy with another horn out the side of his head. Oh god, like all the all like 
you think of like all the different masks you could do, all the fragments and shit. And you just went with the same one. It was just a different type of horn. Oh, it's that's the part that annoys me is that it's the lack of innovation. It's just okay. Well, well, even when it gets to the story part, but then we'll just execute it like shite. And it's like, it's like almost, almost. Sorry. I want to know who the fuck started that style of, you know, like, oh, this is our fight scene. What? Basically, city and having people far away clash over and over again. And it's, oh, isn't this so exciting? Mm, mm-hmm. I'm so excited watching this fight. I'm not feeling nostalgic for the days of when Soy Foam was grabbing things leg and kicking each other in the face and shit. Oh, yeah. I'm so glad we have random faraway characters. Who dots on a screen? With Christ, 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 Christ. Oh, Ichigo, are you doing this? Christ, Christ, Christ. Oh, no, 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 no. Ah, yay. It's like, mm, I don't miss those days at all. When, because like, he, Kubo really knows how to do a fight scene. I'm going to say that. He knows how to do a fight scene. Like, uh, you know, like, like the way he did like the hand to hand concepts with like his iPhone and Yoroichi and shit. And then, like, I always have a soft spot for Byakuya's fight with um Samari. I love the way that was done as well. You know, like it wasn't just all action and stuff. There it was it was it was psychological warfare basically as well, midway through it. I like that. And it wasn't like it wasn't trying to be anything. Do you ever see like the way you get people that do psychological warfare and they're like but they go into the big fucking villain run and it's like then just becomes ridiculous and it's like okay right hurry up sorry you've got, got dinner in five minutes here um i think i think they did that really well if you know what i mean like they they did that met i like kubo's art style usually a lot of the time i'm gonna stop talking again right mute myself mute her no yeah but going of kubo and yeah, especially in like really early bleach i mean it's there throughout it but you could tell like he obviously took a lot of inspiration from like cinematography, like and literally, especially with like the Ichigo and Renji fight, like Renji literally, you know, breaks the confines of the panel. Like there's intent in there to make you feel a certain thing. It's not like, oh, here's the panel. Look, it's that's in this box, but rather, you know, treating the um panels is like their own kind of like individual like monitors and then you know it's just like a movie like you have the shots cut together and then with the anime especially the soul society arc i think you know they do a really good job of trying to recreate that as best as they can with the time and money that they had with the um everything because again i agree with son when you get later like the fights are like okay static shot static shot you know like it's just not interesting like you're just watching drawings move like the illusion is gone like you know you're watching anime you're not feeling anything and i feel like that's what makes bleach special is that yes it is a drawing these aren't supposed to be photorealistic human beings but you feel something in that moment but yeah no you're you're right like see you brought up that fight with Ranji. like even the opening shots of that kind of you know the 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 opening of the anime you know where you see like you know that scene where Renji like you know his hair's all up in the air and you know because it's a, it it's conveying that that's a desperate fight like even though it's just Renji it's not like one of the captains or whatever it's still a, it still gives you still kind of go to yourself shit is he gonna you know Renji might actually pull it out there because like it's the first time as well that you find out that the uh, lieutenants and captains actually have their powers restricted in the world of the living, so there is that bite to it, you know. So it's, I, I like that about Bleach that that it brings out reasons why someone, you know, the the uh, why the reason of like, oh, I'm not right-handed, haha, you know. But it's it's kind of nice, it's cool instead of like just going, you know, oh, I'm not left-handed. <laughs> that sort of trope of the, what's that trope? It is that trope, isn't it? The I'm not left-handed trope, yeah, right, yeah. Yeah, the I have a secret that I haven't revealed to you yet, and I'm going to do it. That one, yeah, yeah. Gonna like stop. I'm going to reveal my secret attack that I've never revealed until now because the plot can be can be. I can't even talk anymore. <laughs> I guess it's been going so long. Yeah. 
but but you, you have you have the uh, built-in excuse of the if the lieutenants and captains go out with their full on par, they're straight up, you know, gonna. Oh yeah, it's gonna be a massacre. I mean, yeah, I mean, if I they know. just use if they just use Bonkai out of the gate, they would just fight would just end right there. Like, <laughs> yeah, I, I know, and this is like the thing I hate, like the filler arcs. It's like you know what we need to do. We need to use Bonkai until Bonkai has no meaning anymore. Uh, just just shock a hole like a fucking machine gun. Like shock a hole, shock a hole, shock a hole, shock a hole, shock a hole. It's like, are you kidding me? It's like, ah, oh, he committed to this. One of my favorite parts. Do you, about, do you oh, just oh. use that spell a lot because it sounds funny? The name. Uh, I, one of my favorite parts about how limited the bon, the bound arc is, or how its early placement um, limits the options of techniques, is that they use four keto spells during that. Shagaho, Sokatsui, Byakurai, and Sai. That's it. Uh, For 46 episodes. <laughs> but you know what angers me about that, though, right? Is that, right, so they, but they had the excuse of here, we need, because they, they're trying to keep it relevant. They're trying to keep it to something people will recognize, those spells. Yet, they have the excuse of all this wide things to use in the fucking, in the, you know, in in the re- invasion arc and the other arcs, the the Sampak Toe arc is really I remember quite thing Renji firing it off quite in the, a lot in that one too, um and it's like, why did you just like you had so many more options? Why did you suddenly increase your use of Shaka Ho? I don't understand. Why did you make this even worse? And it's literally, it's it literally I. There, there are times when I said to myself, you know, I was given all the techniques, every instance of every technique used, and I had to combine so many of them. I'm like, why is he too? How, how did they do that? How did they go worse? <laughs> you were given more options. So right, you are talking about evading army because still, you haven't seen that yet. Oh, oh yeah, we oh, have you to poor de- sucker. We have, have to deep dive on that because I have seen. Parts of the Amazing Arc. I have not watched a full episode yet, and I am saving that for when I for when I reach it chronologically. It, it, I don't think you're ever mentally going to be prepared. No, but I, but I, I but I, what I can do is I like, wasn't. It, but I, I I won't be prepared. What I can do is procrastinate on it forever, like I like everything else I do. So like, don't worry about it. Like like that arc starts somewhere and then ends up somewhere else, and it's like, what the fuck. Like, this whole entire arc has been, I want Bankai? That's literally what this arc is? <laughs> this guy wants Bankai. That's it. I just... And the thing is, and I don't think I've ever kind of, like, verbally spoken about this before, that arc honestly kind of made me question why I even like Bleach in the first place. It is just such a betrayal of the source material. And it is just mind-numbing and it completely and i can't reiterate it enough completely demotes ichigo from the main character and basically treats his sacrifice at the end of the Irankar arc like it's nothing oh you're losing your powers it's like a footnote because oh there's clearly more important stories to tell than you know the main protagonist dealing with becoming a mortal from coming down from becoming a god and the psychological impacts on that. No, that no one wants to watch that crap. Yeah, because we even see him like because like in the full brain arc, because by the time that had come out, we'd seen him in the manga at this point, no dealing with it. Like we could have done so much there. There was a whole time skip there you could have worked with. Literally, like the entire problem of the Sambak To arc was that, you know, the Sambak To and the Amagai arc were that they were in fucking Hueco Mundo. And, and then it was like, oh, no, we're going to take a break and be like, oh, we're going to tell these guys, you know, these side stories. So it's like took you out of the story. Yet that they had such an opportunity to go, right, let's tell a story. Like there's literally a year and a half of in the time. <laughs> she never really recovered from but, that. But, but it's like literally the, the it, entire it problem. All happened because Kubo the... couldn't get his Red Bull fixed. <laughs> When he didn't get, when he didn't get his fucking, you know, Slim Jim and his and his and his Monster Energy drink, 
It's Drew Hickey-Fune's <laughs> slim form with the, like the the size Z boobs, and it just it all and went it, down. And, his, <laughs> and his Doritos and his like Mountain Dew and like and the Taco okay. Bell. Don't forget the Taco Bell. The, they they wouldn't Shueisha wouldn't let him be a gamer, and they impressed <laughs> him for it. That's what happened. <laughs> the Foyd's got him. Um, boy, uh, he tried to be an alpha gamer, but they made him into a beta cuck. Yeah. <laughs> But he was, he was trying to. You know what? If if Bleed the when Fortnite was out, it would have been much better. He would have had yeah, all, so much downtime for to, to play Tilted Towers. But <laughs> and when but when, when 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 Juju Man started his invasion, he just went, "Where are we dropping, boys?" <laughs> but but that just demonstrates he just sent it on to society in his giant battle bus. <laughs> Uh, right. Well, I was just saying that demonstrates a colossal failure that they that the entire problem that the filler arcs had for about five, ten years was that here during Wake Up Window, we have to pull them back. I know. <laughs> what? Like, and then they're basically writing AU fanfics. Like, that's what they are. And I'm like, I think out of those kind of arcs, the Zompakuto arc is probably the most coherent. And I there's a lot I like about it. I just thought the end, you know, and then all of a sudden, you know, oh, we got Koga Kuchki, and it's, who the fuck is Koga Kuchki? Like, what is going on? Like, that's the one thing I've noticed about the Bleach Filler arcs, is that they're going along, blah, 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 and then there's, like, really random bullshit, you know, thrown in at the 11th hour, and it's like, what? Like, what is happening? Do you, know what, do you know what actually bothered me about the Koga thing? It's why did they leave the daughter unnamed? Why did you just basically create this character and then go, but it's a mysterious skin raised daughter? And it's like, what? I don't get it. It's sorry, it just bothered me. It was like just this random ass pull third rank guy who's sorry. Sorry, sorry, Sil, don't hit me. I didn't like that. That she oh, would I, name I, that I, she... I don't I don't like Koga either, don't worry about it. Like, go Koga is fine. Go Koga, 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 They know I smoke, you're fine. Yeah, that's the thing I've said about, like, we never saw Scout characters ever again. <laughs> Other from... than, like, Kari, like... And and the mod souls every now and then. Right, which, you know... The mod souls have just disappeared. Yeah, but here's the thing that's so weird about it. Like, they were a thing for a while. Like, they pushed them hard. I actually have a Kuroto keychain. Like, they need merch with these guys. Like, they were hoping that they were going to be the next big thing. And they were in several openings. And then, you know, they just randomly disappeared without any explanation. I think they maybe, like, popped up once, I, like, 200 I, episodes I, later. I remember them popping up during the Zompak tour. God, they could have used them in the Invasion arc, which was about Mod Souls. We can bring them back! And then they have Nozomi. They could have literally to get Kona a girlfriend. Yeah, you know, like literally, do you know what? Do you know what? This is the lion pussy of waifu. Just... I know a waifu that adds what I was going to say earlier, but what I was going to say here is that they spent look at Karakura Riser arcs, look at all these arcs of giving Kone a team this could have given him a team of those mod souls, they could have done so much, if they had to make it about the little fucking incel lion character, then do so why did he have to have a waifu? Why, like, you had mod soul characters there you could have had him combine together and go fight these mod souls, you could have done something with that and no. the thing about Chewis is that he doesn't even just want to the end. <laughs> so he's just, now he's just lonely and sad. <laughs> oh, I'm so sad. <laughs> Don't leave. He's, he's, he's a blue-pilled cuck. Yeah, he really is. He actually is. And she's a red-pilled <laughs> Oh, that's, that's right. The giant matrix comes out tomorrow. He's a sub-8 just... male. <laughs> No, but the red guy's pills were red, right? If I remember that correctly, I'm pretty sure they were red. Give me a second there. That that makes way too much sense. <laughs> it makes it all the same. Oh, oh, what have the Wachowski sisters done? Is is her messing with her brains? <laughs> Modified tool. I'm pretty sure the pill is red for the red guy, right? I think you're right. Oh my god! So they ripped off the matrix too. Oh my god! <laughs> <laughs> Expanded universe. Let's see. Oh, come on. 
Where is the rear guy pill? Oh no, he's got to do this to me. Rear guy pill. Right, so here's Rangiku trying to get Nozomi. Do, does he kill her or does he not? It ends here. Does she run away? So I'm trying to see this. I'm pretty sure that it's a red pill. I need to know this. I need to know. Sorry. What color is it? Right, okay, so it's not you then. Okay, right, so episode 320, 321, is it? Maybe 321, maybe? Am I the only one who wants to know this? Am I the only one that cares? <laughs> hold on, I, the only no, one. I care. I'm, I'm, hold on, I'm just... Oh my we, we god. Need to find out, we, we need to find out if they're... If, they're red, if the Ray guy are actually red-pilled alphas. <laughs> Now we do. It's it's a bit too bit too much. Too much. Oh my god, the red pills! They are. This demo hold him one. This demo hold him one. Oh my god. I am a fucking ass. Two on the oh, nose. Lemurs, you have to make the thumbnail to this video like a picture of Inaba with like holding the red pill with the matrix. <laughs> I mean, oh, you need to, I'll, I'll try and find a good, good quality one of that, but I just was running through that just to see. Oh my god, oh, the red. I mean, just I have him can't. wearing the dark coat and the sunglasses and like have him holding the red pill. It's done, <laughs> it's happening. Pepe and the trophies. Oh, brilliant. Amazing. Oh, brilliant. Oh there we God. go. Oh, wait, yeah. no, no. Well, you, I'm sure you can cro probably crop that and like fade it out into something that made sense. Oh, uh, yeah. Yeah. It, it will be something. It will be. <laughs> oh, my God. This, I guess, technically was a podcast thing. Uh, we're going to try to get something. more uh, regular <laughs> stuff once we uh, get more news with Bleach. We'll have something and then if you guys have any ideas of anything we want to talk about uh, if you want us to break down like anime arcs you know any specific segments symbology just, like... um i'd actually like to consider actually doing a focus on each arc like anime wise filler arcs and stuff like that like i just think it'd be fun sort of do different stuff like that oh, all yeah. the time like we will have to do it like commit to it like that sort of stuff but mm. i mean like like maybe if we all like like a book club kind of way, like watch the anime, the Bleach again, but book then club. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and then when we get to the filler, it's just like it's just oh, like, oh yeah, it's no, just, gotta do a Ouija board. Oh uh, yeah, no, when... we can just turn it into a like we can just treat the filler like an like an angry video game nerd episode where we're just. <laughs> oh no, it is. No, what I'm gonna do is as soon as we get to invading army, I'm just gonna do a whole thing. I'm just going to grab a bunch of white claws so that I'm I not can't. like too drunk to say anything. But I'm, I'm just going to find keep... I'm just going to find me a white button-down shirt and some glasses and a power glove and just <laughs> curse to the moon over it. Just, just, did uh, you just seem like a doing piece the, of dog shit? Constantly doing the James Rolfe face the whole time even though we can't see you. <laughs> Inaba? What the fuck is that? Sounds Inaba. like an asshole. No, no, F future. You and me can recreate that photo of um, uh, AVGN and Doug Walker pointing at each other in the store. <laughs> <laughs> we used to be a country, a proper country. country. <laughs> we used to be a society. Yeah, that's right. God is dead. <laughs> I don't even like saying we live in a society because we really don't. It's literally everything is just controlled by corporations trying to keep themselves as the middleman. Yes, but also you know the Joker I mean? is the Joker is funny. So, oh yeah. Jesus! <laughs> if you want to follow us for like non bleach nonsense, you know the kind of clear the air. Which I'm not sure if you want to do that because I'm pretty sure everything we talked about has repelled anyone from interacting with us yeah. ever again. Yeah. But, but, but lemurs, <laughs> guess what? No one can dislike our videos anymore. I know. Yeah, <laughs> you know they're no. gone. We, we can Dislikes say whatever don't we exist want. anymore. Yeah, we can say whatever we want now. You have no power over us, haters. <laughs> just, just the number you. not going up. Just the. <laughs>
Hey, you bitch ass losers. Can't stop us now. You just don't get it, Sil. You just don't get it. Humanity is destructive. It's awful. It's all evil. It's I'm the only one. I am oh. I am a human, but I am not limited my... by my physical f fact that I'm a human. Oh, Sorry. No. Isn't oh, that literally no. the one villain from One Punch Man? <laughs> that, uh... Right, okay. <laughs> Good. More or less. Yeah, I, I think we should end this here before we start our discussion on friends of ours. <laughs> Just... Exactly. Thank you, Future. I needed that moderation there because the three of us were about to fly off again. Mm -hmm. Yep. And I'm going to sedate myself. Future, uh, can I could... you say that's not how this works one more time? That's not yep. how this works. That's not how any of this works. And now we're back for real. <laughs> yes. <laughs> we back, baby. So if you want to stalk us, like, don't literally actually stalk us. Uh, we're all on Twitter. I'm at Crazy Lemur. I'm Platinum Angle with no e, with no e for the angel part because I ran out of characters. <laughs> I'm I'm at Evie King thirteen. The numbers, not the letter. <laughs> <laughs> and I am geriatric, so mines do not do a lot. Uh, Sunny Shea, but I spend a lot of time whinging. and you'll not want to follow me. I will. Yeah, I'm not. Yeah, I'm. I'm like the cheerful triggered SJW. Um, so, follow you know, me if you so... want to see me. Follow me if you want to see me retweet Persona and Xenoblade pics a lot. You're just getting a lot trending of them. because of Christian. Oh God! <laughs> don't don't get me started on that, please. Right. Well, I, for one, I'm going to go oh, get dinner goodness. and take my pills and shit before I actually collapse. Thanks for enjoying this rambling of somewhat coherent and incoherent ideas. Uh, 2022, we're hoping to get more stuff out on a more regular basis for you guys. So just be patient. We're dealing with time zones and everything. And you guys have been awesome the last year or so and thanks again so much for all of you who have put up with this nonsense have a great <laughs> holiday and we'll see you guys in 2022 hi guys this is now i want to thank you for watching the video if you like what you see click the video links above if you want to be notified about our latest videos please like and subscribe below Oh, and don't forget that bell icon! <sighs> Man, that was a lot. I'm totally out of breath. <laughs>